Hi everyone, this is Abhinav from Phone Bunch, and today we are benchmarking the Micromax Canvas 2 colors A120. Let's get into the hardware specifications first. So you can see the model number right up top, A120, running on the MT6582 chipset from MediaTek. Android 4.2.2 Jelly Bean with a 5 inch HD IPS display that's 720 by 1280 pixels. You're an ARM V7 Cortex A7 based 1.3 GHz quad core processor with Mali 400 MP2 GPU powering the graphics. Let's get into memory now. You have 966 MB of RAM available out of 1 GB for the system and 1 GB of internal storage is also available. Let's get into camera. You have an 8 megapixel primary camera with autofocus as well as an LED flash capable of recording 1080p videos at 30 fps. You have a 2 megapixel front facing camera capable of recording VGA resolution only. Then you have a 2000 mAh lithium ion battery powering the device and you have an extrometer proximity sensor as well as a light sensor all three of which are working perfectly fine now let's start with the benchmarks first we are running the quadrant benchmark we are running the full benchmark here it has been fast forwarded to get to the results quickly let's submit the score to get a comparison chart going so we got a score of 5594 which is a bit lower than the canvas 2.2 as well as zolo q10 tonight but definitely a very good score now we are running the antudo benchmark the full benchmark is being run here as well it's been fast forwarded. The scores have loaded up. Let's have a look. So we got an Antutu score of 16463, which is again among the highest for this chipset, but just a bit below than the Canvas 2.2 as well as the Zolo Q10 tonight. Nevertheless, a very good score. Now we are running Nina Mark 2. It will test the graphics processing unit and give us an FPS score. So we got 53.5 FPS, meaning high end games should be very easily playable on this device, which is what we expect. Now we are running the Bellamo HTML5 chapter. It will run the Sun Spider test for JavaScript as well as V8 benchmark suit and give us a performance score. So we got a score of 1922, which is actually a very high score. And you can see that it's just below the Samsung Galaxy S4 and comparable to the rest of the phones using the same chipset. Now we are running the metal chapter of Bellamo. It will test the CPU specifically. So we got a score of 511, which is again a very good score. And it's again among the top scores in this segment and just below the Samsung Galaxy S3, which is a very good place to be. Now we are running the Linpack single thread test. It gave us a score of 86.07. Let's run the multi-thread test now. And here we got a score of 230.10. These are among the highest for this chipset. Higher than both the Canvas 2.2 as well as the Zolo Q1010i. Now the multi-touch test. I have six fingers on the display. Only five are detected. So it's a five-point multi-touch display. Even in terms of general performance and day-to-day -day use, the phone does not falter. It's one of the most powerful phones that you can get in the rupees 10,000 segment right now in India. The display actually looks good. It has good viewing angles and an excellent color profile as well. We'll definitely be checking out how it performs in gaming. Till then, you can watch its unboxing from right here, as well as the unboxing and benchmarks of the Canvas Doodle 3. If you have any questions, just hit us in the comment section. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like and share the video. Have a great day.